Welcome back at 655. Time now for our Sunrise Smart Start and breaking news at this hour. Rochester police looking for a missing two-month-old child. Police say Harlem Roberts is a black child with brown hair and brown eyes. He is believed to be in danger at this hour. Unfortunately, we do not have a photo of this child. He was last seen with his mother, India Roberts, who is also missing. She is described as a black woman about 5'3 with black hair. They were last seen on West Avenue in Rochester around 9.30 last night. India last seen wearing a black hooded sweatshirt with white leggings. They may be traveling to the Parenton area. Anyone with information, please call 911. Elsewhere this morning, snow, a big part of our Sunrise Smart Start and a potential slippery commute for some. Eric Cost alive in the city this morning with the latest on conditions. Eric good morning. Good morning, Mark. Well, I'm on University Ave uh, right by the intersection at Culver. Uh, you said slippery. Definitely what I'm seeing out here. A lot of slush. Roads are a lot better than this morning around 5 a.m. when there is a more of a layer of snow. Uh, so maybe take more time, be more careful with those back streets, side roads, uh, but where we are right now is looking a lot better and should be better on uh, main roads like 441 and 490 as well. Definitely more traffic at this hour, a lot of activity, cars back and forth, uh, plows back and forth. Make sure you're being considerate to plows on the road. Uh, they drive slower than normal vehicles. Make sure you are being considerate to them, not crowding them. Um, and give yourself time to break in those roads where there is trouble with snow. Uh, as Josh mentioned earlier, the storm itself is wrapping up, uh, but there could be visibility issues later in the day if wind uh, is picking up snow on the ground um, and leading to drifting snow. So make sure you are just being aware, planning ahead for your commute this morning. Uh, looks good where we are, uh, but as I mentioned, make sure if you do see plows, make sure you're being considerate. And as w something that Josh also mentioned, there should be sun later, which I am looking forward to. How about you, Mark? Uh, no doubt, Ericetta. Thank you. Elsewhere this morning, the family of that nine year old girl who was pepper sprayed by Rochester police last Friday filing a notice of claim against the city. An RPD officer has already been suspended. Two others placed on administrative leave for their involvement in the incident. Body camera footage here. The department is conducting an internal investigation. Rochester police have identified the 24 year old man who was killed in a shooting Monday night. On Lyle Avenue, Tyshawn McConaughey was found shot in a car on Lyle Ave just after 10. He was pronounced dead at the scene. A woman flagged down police who responded to the area. She was also shot, but we're told she has been released from the hospital. The State Department of Health investigating an email sent internally by the University of Rochester Medical Center. Health officials say the email suggesting hospital donors could get preferential treatment when it came to getting the COVID vaccine. URMC in that statement assuring the public only eligible people have been vaccinated through its distribution program. All right, Josh, again, weather the big story on this Wednesday morning. A lot of shoveling and plowing to do this morning after more than half a foot of snow fell in the Rochester area. Even more than that in the Finger Lakes, less off to the west. We will see some breaks of sun today, but a brisk wind which will help to lift whatever snow has fallen that's on the ground and drifted across some roads. Temperatures today will be flirting with freezing. You can see some of those breaks in the clouds here as we look at our fair flower city. Still snowing this morning in parts of the Finger Lakes, Wayne County in particular. But again, we should see at least some peaks of sun before the day is out. And that brisk wind will make it feel a lot colder than what the thermometer reads. But in the meantime, get ready to do a lot of shoveling and plowing and snow blowing here on this wintry Wednesday morning. And maybe some sledding too. Yes. Uh, make sure you take extra time this morning. As always, we thank you for watching our next update in 25 minutes. CBS This Morning starts right now. Have a great day.